All right, this is uh, an example of how to use sliders in GlowScript. So a couple, I'm just going to go through the code here real quick. So we have, uh, this is a function here. So what we're doing is we are defining a function named s. This is taking in an argument named r. You'll note that you can call this whatever you want. All right, so there's two lines in this function. The first one, global radius, what this does is this changes the scope of the radius variable so that you can use it outside of this function. Right? If you don't have this line, then you'll end up getting errors later on. Right? This line right here, what this does is this updates the radius function, the radius variable, so that you can um, to whatever its new value is. Alright, now this line of code here, slider, right, this is defining a slider. Right, these min and maxes are just the values that you actually have, right? So if you slide it all the way to the left, it'll have a value of zero. If you slide it all the way to the right, it'll have a value of 10. Right, bind equals s, what that does is every single time you change the slider, it's going to call this s function, and it's gonna pass in itself as into our, into our function. So you can see in our function up here, what we're doing is we are updating a radius to be equal to the value of the argument. Right, so value is an attribute of slider, right? Just like the max is, right? So I could have, if I wanted to, I could type in arg dot max, and that would set radius to ten every single time, right? I don't want to do that. I want to set it to whatever the current value is, right? So down here, I'm creating a sphere, right? It starts off with a radius of five. I'm creating a reference box so we can actually just see this, right? Down here, I'm creating a loop, right? I'm setting it to run a hundred times per second, and I am each time in my loop, I'm updating the sphere's radius to be radius, right? So whenever radius changes, it's going to actually get used here. Now, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So let's run this guy. All right, so you can see we have this slider here. Currently, it's all the way on the left. You can use an attribute to change that, right? But if I were to click here or all the way down here, right, you can see it's currently the minimum value, so the radius of our sphere is zero. Zero, that's why we don't see it. If I drag it all the way over here, you can see the radius is 10, right? And it's actually, the camera's even zooming out, right? Because remember, this block here, if you remember our code, is, has a size of 10, right? So the radius of the sphere is 10, which means the diameter is 20. That's why it's about twice as big as this block here, right? If I bring it back to the middle, the radius is 5, right? So it's roughly the same size as this guy. It should be exactly the same. Um, that's it. That's sliders.